German Defense Minister Annegret Kramp Karrenbauer announced earlier this week that Germany plans to buy 93 Euro fighter Typhoon fighters and 45 F 18 Super Hornets to replace the old Tornado fighter bomber. Reports Defense World, with a new contract that is expected to be signed soon, total Euro fighter orders will total 145 units. Previously Kuwait bought 28 Typhoon in 2016 and Qatar ordered 24 fighter jets in 2018. The first Kuwaiti Typhoon equipped with AESA Captor E scan radar made its first flight in December last year, and is expected to strengthen Kuwait by the end of 2020. By 2019, more than 550 Typhoon fighter jets have been sold to Germany, Britain, Italy, Spain, Austria, Oman and Saudi Arabia. On the other hand, competitors from Europe, Rafale, have won export orders from India, 36 Egypt, 24 and Qatar, 36, a total of 96 fighter jets have been ordered. France itself has bought 180 of the planned 288 Rafale warplanes. Unfortunately, the French Rafale has lost sales in Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Kuwait, Singapore and South Korea. Rafale sales prospects are said to be affected due to the high purchase price of aircraft in addition to high operational costs. The two fighter jets are currently in the competition to procure fighter aircraft in Finland HX program, Spain, Switzerland Air 2030 program, and United Arab Emirates to pocket additional orders. This O Aviation has been developing the F-4 Rafale from the F-3R generation since January 2019 after producing three variants, the Rafale C single-seat F-1 generation, the two-seat Rafale B, F-2 generation, and the Rafale M single-seat aircraft carrier, generation F-3. In addition to other advantages such as helmet-mounted display capabilities, Enhanced radar and new weapons Rafale F-4 introduces network-centric warfare capabilities which will provide satellite link data and intra-patrol links communication servers and software-defined radios. In November of the same year, Airbus and its partners launched a breakdown of the concept of a new electronic combat role ECR, that would give Typhoon fighter jets electronic warfare capabilities. Eurofighter ECR will be able to provide passive emitter locations and be able to deal with active jamming attacks, and will offer a variety of modular configurations for electronic attacks EA, and suppression, destruction of enemy air defense seat dead. The latest companion jammer technology will ensure state control of features such as mission data and data analysis. This concept also features a new two-seat cockpit configuration with a multi-function panoramic touch display and a special mission cockpit for the rear seats. Eurofighter Typhoon is a multi-purpose Delta Wing and Super Agile twin-engine fighter wing, designed and manufactured by a consortium of European countries formed in 1983. In its design it resembles other modern European fighter planes to so Rafale France and Saab Grip in Sweden. Because of the combination of agility, stealth facilities and modern systems, he is widely regarded as a great fighter. Eurofighter already has supercruise capabilities that can penetrate Mach 1 speed without using afterburner. The internal mounted Mauser BK 27mm rifle is a revolver weapon system with a closed linkless ammunition feed system. Eurofighter Typhoon has 13 hard points for weapons, 4 under each wing and 5 under the fuselage. An arms control system, Axe manages weapon selection and fires and monitors weapon status. Depending on the role, the fighter can carry a mixture of missiles. The British RAF has chosen MBD a meteor for the needs of BVRAAM and Raytheon M ROM until meteor enters the service. Meteors use the new motorized ramjet to increase range and maneuverability. Meteors will be installed from around 2013. Germany.
Italy and Spain, Euro fighters carry Iris tier to air infrared imaging missiles developed by Germany's DLBGT defense. Deliveries began in December 2005. German and Spanish aircraft are also armed with a 350k EPD Taurus missile standoff from EADS LFK and Saab Bofors Dynamics, which has a range of more than 350 kilometers. UK RAF Euro fighters carrying MBDA Storm Shadow, Scalp PG standoff cruise missiles, which entered operational service on Tornado aircraft in March 2003, and MBDA Sulfur anti-armor missiles which entered service with initial operational capability IOC on RAF Tornado GR aircraft. March 4, 2005 Italian aircraft, also armed with Storm Shadow. The aircraft is equipped with a Doppler Pulse ECR-90 multi-mode pulse expand radar developed by the Euro Radar Consortium. Multi-mode radar has three processing channels. The third channel is used for jammer classification, blanking interference and side lobe nulling. Euroradar is led by Celix sensor and airborne systems with Indra from Spain. FIAR Italy and EADS Defense Electronics Germany In May 2007, in captured version of an electronically active scanning AESA version developed by Euroradar, was successfully tested flying on Eurofighter. Radar is called Caesar AESA captor. Pirate passive infrared airborne track equipment mounted on the left side of the aircraft to the front of the windshield. Pirate was developed by the Italian consortium EUROFIRST Galileo Avionica FIAR main contractor. Thales Optronics from the UK, Technical Authority System, and Technobit Spain. Pirate operates in 3 to 5 and 8 to 11 micron spectral bands. When used with radar in the air to air roll, it functions as a search and tracking infrared system IRST, providing passive target detection and tracking. Dassault Rafale is a 4.5 generation, two-engine, and winged Delta versatile fighter aircraft from France made by Dassault Aviation. Rafale is designed as a plane based on land and in aircraft carriers. The Rafale aircraft program consists of three twin-roll multi-roll fighter planes, the one-seat Rafale C version, the two-seat Rafale B version and the AL aircraft carrier version is the Rafale M3 versions of the fighter aircraft are equipped with engines, combat and navigation systems, aircraft management systems and flight control systems alike. They can all carry out all types of missions from land attacks to air superiority. Rafale is equipped with an integrated electronic defense system called Spectre which provides software-based virtual stealth technology. The most important sensor is the RBE-2 passive electronically scanned array radar made by Thales Group. Thales claim to be the first to attain situational awareness through early detection and multi-target air tracking for close combat and long-range interception as well as the instantaneous creation of three-dimensional field maps in the presence and instantaneous creation of high-resolution terrestrial maps for navigation and determination target. In environments where recognition management is needed, Rafale can use several passive sensor systems. The Front Optical Optic System or Frontline Sector OSF developed by Thales is fully integrated in this aircraft and can operate in both naked and infrared wavelengths. SPECTRA's Electronic Self-Protection System, developed by Thales in EADS France, gives this aircraft the highest capability to defend against threats from both air and land. Instantaneous data links allow communication not only with other aircraft but also with mobile command fixed command and control center. For missions that require it, the Rafale will also use the Damocles laser, optical electric design method that carries LGB capabilities throughout the day and night. 
Although the French Air Force plans to equip the Rafale with standoff weapons while the LGB role is left to Dassault Mirage 2000. The Rafale core system employs integrated modular avionics IMA, called Modular Data Processing Units, abbreviated as MDPU. This architecture hosts all of Rafale's core functions as flight management systems, data fusion, shooting control, machine and human interface, etc. The overall price of radar, electronic communications, and personal protection equipment is approximately 30% of the cost of making the aircraft. Rafale's ground attack capability is limited by the lack of advanced targeting methods. But this will be improved by adding Damocles targeting methods and Thales Optronics Ricoing, Aereo's reconnaissance to F3 standards.